Hi, this is Luke Covey, Editorial Director of New Tech Press, and I'm here with... Uh, Miguel Guerrero. Uh, and Carl uh, Kaiser. We're and from Essencia Technologies. Uh, Essencia is here at DAC uh, as a first-time uh, exhibitor. Uh, we're, we're presenting our Scala platform. It's a design platform that we believe uh, is, is helping companies to bring uh, their ideas, their algorithms, much faster onto uh, an FPGA and ASIC than uh, any typical uh, RTL approach. Okay. Yeah, Gary Smith has always been talking about uh, this is the year of ESL. Uh, and obviously, since you guys are in that space, you agree with him, but how, ha how do you help bring about Gary's particular vision for ESL? So, what I believe, a lot of cost in ASIC is actually in verification. Um, and for example, one big difference in our case is, uh, you know, typically you, do an, you develop an algorithm, you, 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 you verify the correctness of an algorithm, and then you bring it into an RTL uh, implementation, you have to verify, and I think everyone agrees, it's, it's somewhere almost 60% of the cost is in verification. In our case, using a Scala platform, the, 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 the generated uh, uh, IP cores are actually right by construction, so you can almost entirely uh, skip the verification. You still have to do SOC verification, but uh, it's a great reduction in terms of cost. Um, so, so that's, that's definitely uh, a benefit of our platform. In terms of system level design, uh, it's it's uh, our our core. W one thing we believe is we're still stuck at the RTL level in terms of you know mm -hmm. Synopsys is now 25 years old. Uh, they pretty much uh, pioneered this space. Uh, we we look at this as being kind of a higher level of abstraction that we, we call a, a, a basically a core level. Um, core based design. Um, so instead of using registers and a few gates in between, we, we propose to use actually programmable cores. Uh, and, and um, you know, it's very easy to do the design trade offs. It's very powerful in terms of um, the, the, the performance you get out, um, and, and it's fast in terms of market. Okay, so it, we have been talking that. You're, you're primarily concerned about the ASIC, but you're now talking about programmable cores. Yeah. So, uh, another one of the issues that have been floating around the show floor is that it might actually be possible to design production electronic devices based on FPGAs. Now, how can you guys help with that process? And I'm talking about low-end FPGAs. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, one of the things that Scala has is uh, Scala is, uh, you know, you can scale it up, you can scale it down. So, if your application doesn't require all the resources of a given processor, we can trim those down as well. So that's one of the things that can be helpful towards uh, targeting smaller devices and cheaper solutions, basically. So uh, another thing is, for example, when you look at the the soft cores that the the FPGA vendors uh, offer. Uh, they're, they're fairly limited in terms of what they can crunch um, and so there you, you, you have two choices you have to go to full RTL or, or uh, and or not yeah or these cores just limit you in terms of number of what, what kind of performance you can achieve with our solution you still have the full benefit of a programmable core architecture but we can push way past what the microblades or iOS can do uh, and so on, on the on the entry level devices in the FPGA space uh, I think that, that that can be quite an attractive way to go, uh, which will reduce your, your, your design cost. FPGAs have replaced quite a few of the, uh, the DSPs uh, lately, but the problem for companies is that in the past these DSPs were programmed by by, by programmers, and if they want to go to our, uh, to FPGA, they need suddenly a different workforce, a different skill set. They need RTL people. With our solution, you can still uh, uh, 
do a lot of this stuff um, uh, without having to go through the whole pain here. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, are you guys ready with um, to sell this stuff? I mean, how much are you selling here for? Well, we are presented here at DAC. This is our presentation of the tool. It's been in development in the last four years. We have internally used for uh, SLCI is a company that does uh, as well design services and IT. So we have used this for internal developments. Okay. Um, and so the tool is ready to be sold. And I think when it comes to the price, uh, you know, give us a call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.